Blog Talk Radio. Are you ready to take a bite out of the competition? Are you looking for ideas to make your business better? Welcome to the Core Business Show with Tim GK, sponsored by Apple Capital Group. At the core of every successful business, you'll find people making a difference. And with each episode of the Core Business Show, we talk with those people, examine those ideas, and explore the strategies that make them special. Now, the host of the Core Business Show, Tim Jacquet. Well, welcome to another episode of the Core Business Show. And today's show is kind of a follow-up with Wesley. He's with Seven Day Fitness, and we're going to talk about getting fit. So I'm going to put Wesley on the line. Wesley, you there? So I have on the phone Wesley. Wesley, you made it? Look over at some tech issues. Wesley's going to call back. In the meantime, sevendayfitness.com is his business. He's a virtual trainer, and he actually trains people to get fit. You don't need gym equipment. The only thing you need is your fitness body. And we had this conversation a couple of weeks ago. I was telling him about insanity. Insanity is insane. It is a hard workout, and I'm about to fall dead over. And, and I wish I had maybe another option that I can go to. I reached out to Wesley, asked him to come on the show to talk about fitness, and he has a great seven-day program. He's a virtual fitness trainer. And anyway, Wesley. Yeah, I'm back in front of you. Okay, great. No problem. We're talking about getting fit, and we had this conversation a couple of weeks ago, and I was telling the audience that, and my wife bought Insanity, something I've been debating for the last several years, and it was about to kill me. So let's go talk about getting fit. Before we begin, if anybody has any questions, you can go ahead and call in at 347-324-3460, 347-324-3460, or you can pose a question in the chat room, or you can pose a question on our Twitter feed at hashtag Apple Capital. I guess just go ahead and dive into what we left off of getting fit. Yeah, so, so basically, you know, having a billion shows at ACB and basically, you know, we're just getting wrapped up on my lunch here, the repetitive seven-day program that's going to kick off in about 20 days, and all you guys get out there, WesleyBurton.com, and go ahead, get registered, and go ahead and get hooked up, but basically, I just have the ability, of what I'm doing is changing folks' habits, and uh, basically, the program, I have a couple of boot camps online also that I'm utilizing, basically, get that done. Wow. So it's kind of funny, ironically, I think we posted this question out on Facebook, either on Friday or Saturday. No, Friday, I remember. And I said, okay, let me tell them what I'm actually was eating that day, which was peanuts and something else. And it was kind of a funny thing. But anyway, which wasn't a healthy day for, for me, why a person shouldn't eat like that? Just eating pe- peanuts or snacking on something throughout the day. You want to know what kind of things that you can snack on? Or? Some things you can snack on, and why is a good thing not to snack on those type of things? Just well, go ahead. Well, yeah, um, so basically what I do is often, you know, it's, not a pretty, it's not too bad, you know, it's definitely something good that you want to snack on. But I think you had, I can't remember exactly what you posted, you know, some of the things. I think you had fish nuggets from McDonald's. Yeah, that was it, fish nuggets, because it was Friday, and we usually kind of abstain from meat on Friday, so. Yeah, that was it. Wes is going to call back in a few minutes ago, but I was teasing him. I was saying that I was looking at the post. I was saying in the afternoon, I was eating, actually. I had some peanuts. My wife had some seven bags of peanuts that she had and the little small things she got off a flight throughout the day. And she just happened to have it with me. She said, I'm going to bring you a few peanuts. So she brought about five or six of them. So I was snacking on that. And, you know, I guess peanuts in, in one sense is healthy. But anyway, Wesley's going to call back in. He having some audio issues, but we went ahead and go on. And I had some fish nuggets because, you know, it was Friday, and uh, we tried to stand for meat on Friday during Lent. And he said it's not really a healthy char- choice. So I'll go ahead and bring Wesley back on. Yeah, and, probably. Yeah, so just, no, just, that's just right. Back, next problem goes in my area. But okay. yeah, you know, some of the items that, that I snack on, you know, you have raisins, and you have almonds. What I try to do is just, Try to empower myself with productive items, not items that are kind of productive to the body. The McDonald's food, in my opinion, it just, it's just probably not the best, but probably cooked or definitely things are not beneficial to the body. So now it's kind of that quick stick, and that's what they design it for. You know, they focus on the target kids, but I have two kids of my own, and sometimes, you know, you're in that situation that, guess what? 
Yeah, McDonald's, the kids want it, and you end up getting some Big Mac, but that's definitely food that you want to stay away from, at least 90, 90%, you know, during the week. And, you know, if you do do that, you know, one time a week, hey, it's okay. I, I don't recommend it, but if you, you need to, you have kids, and you have to get it done, and, you know, they have, they have meals, and they're having their, their good time there, is, I'm saying, you know, don't do this on a repetitive basis. Don't make it a habit. Don't make it something that you're going to keep doing over and over again, which is going to cause, you know, CAC, con, con, or, you know, coronary heart disease, or, you know, high blood pressure, or diabetes, and all that stuff. Hey, but with Wesley, you know, everybody say eat healthy, but, you know, some of the stuff, I guess, you go from the old school. Eating healthy looks like the stuff that people have at the GNC and health food. It looks, it's not tasty. Have they really made improvements on the way things taste? You know, the things that's healthy for you? Right, right. Yeah, exactly. You know, a lot of us folks say, you know, the things that are healthy, the things that, that don't taste good, and things that are not healthy, the things that taste good. See, that, that's not actually true. I mean, it's definitely many items. Like, I stop at Whole Food store myself, and um, at Whole Foods, that you know, lunch, they actually prepare the different meals that are healthy, and this food, in my opinion, tastes well. It tastes very good. You know, the thing is, the only reason why the food that you think tastes so well is because it has more salt on it. So guess what? The more salt that you eat, the better it is, right? Because we've been conditioned to believe that. We've been conditioned by our taste. But see, the thing is, if you grew up in a healthy lifestyle, you, you grew up that you didn't intake or have so much salt on your food, guess what? When you eat salty food, it will make you sick. Because right now, when I eat salty food that's too salty for me, I actually get sick now because I probably condition my taste and the my body to reject certain items. But the thing is, it's a, it's a process that you have to purposely do for about 30 to 45 days that you're not putting this type of, you know, seasoned salt and data rings and all that jazz into your body. You kind of separate because what you're going to do is going to, you're going to basically trick the body. So now when you go eat those meals and that are so high in salt, your body starts to reject it. You know, you don't start, you don't feel too good, you know, after um, you finish the meal. Wow. Wow. And so if you if we look at your particular program, the seven day fitness, what a person should be eating means should be eating and should not be eating while they're doing this fitness routine. Well, you know, with my program that's about to launch in the next twenty days, the thing is I have a weight loss I have a weight loss recipe guide that shows exactly what you can eat during these thirty days. In my opinion, you know, anybody can commit to thirty days. Now I'm not asking for forty five to sixty days, just thirty days of your life. 30 days out of the year, I need you to commit to eating this way. I need you to commit to eating this certain way. And the thing is, in my opinion, that's not hard to do if your why is strong. If you have a big why, then usually you can do that. Because what happens during those 30 days, you, you're conditioning and you're replacing certain habits when it comes to your lifestyle and how you eat. Then what happens is, you know, after the 30 days, guess what? You can eat whatever you want. You can do whatever you want to do. But what happens, what typically happens for my clients is, it's hard for them. It's very difficult for them to go back to the old style of eating all the time. I'm not saying that every once in a while they're not going to have a burger, some french fries, and, you know, what else, some potato wedges. I'm not saying that. But see, the likelihood for them indulging or become inundated with that type of food is it, it, slim to none. It's not going to happen anymore. It is some disciplines that you need. That's why my program is so easy and so minute because it is simple disciplines that I have my clients do every single day. It's real simple and it's real easy. But what we're doing is we're creating and replacing old habits. Wow. So what, what type of, kind of give us a sample of, you know, I know you mentioned on the last episode that, hey, that why is going to be really important if you're going to take them as a client. If they don't have a good why, you're not going to take them as a client. It's just setting yourself up for failure. So kind of give us an, an outline how your program normally works in seven days and what they're going to be eating. And, and, how basically, uh -huh, I'm sorry. and how long that's programmed, you know, this is lifetime type of thing, or how is this process going to work? You do seven days, you continue to do seven days until you get meet your goals, but also you got to maintain that. So go, right. go, go ahead and talk about the program itself. So, so basically, right now my program, it, it's worth over $200 per year. You know, I have clients that are paying, they're, they're paying, you know, $230 per month right now just to have access to my program. You know, right now, I'm launching the repetitive seven day program, which is a columbrical item. So basically, with the repetitive seven day program, you're going to get a 30 day intense food camp that's online. That's going to be designed to your lifestyle. Number two, you're going to get a yoga expert. I've teamed up with Dasima. She's an awesome yoga. She travels around the world 
uh, doing these huge yoga seminars. So you're going to have access to her. You're going to have access to Buffy the Body, Buffy Corrupt. She is the actual food anti experts for seven years. And so, ladies, they want to get those thighs raised, uh, the blood right. She is the expert in that field. And you're also going to be assigned, you know, myself or another trainer who is going to work with you, who's going to encourage you, who's going to motivate you, who's going to ensure that you understand and keep that wide in front of your face to ensure the process goes through correctly. So, because the thing is, we're not doing anything. That's, this is not temporary. This is not, I'm getting ready for summer. Or I'm getting ready. No, I'm getting ready for life. I'm getting ready. Because I understand this is for the rest of my life. I'm no more, I'm no more willing to make New Year's resolutions and say, you know what? I need to get this done. You know, I want to do this. I got to do this. No, absolutely not. You get to do this. See, we wake up in the morning and we start the day. You should think I get to exercise. I get to create a better lifestyle for myself, for my family, for my kids, so I can live longer. And that all goes back to the why. And that's why I have videos there that's strategically placed on my website. That's the reason why you have to define your why. You see, the thing is, if you don't, you're going to find yourself buying DVDs, buying YouTube videos, buying pills, potions, and other lotions, trying to, you know, reduce the stat or trying to accomplish the dream or the design of your body that, you, that you're looking for. But see, the why on the sheet of paper, you have to write this stuff down of why you, why do you want to get it done? Then after wow. that, you have to write down reasons why you, why if you don't get it done, what's going to happen you five years down the line? Because understand, Jeff, this is an exceedance process. It's sneaky. It's hurt it. It just sneaks up on you. And before you know it, you're 300 pounds. You're 250 wow. pounds. This is incredible. Incre so if you backtrack a little, you know, within your seven-day fitness and with this particular boot camp, I know people are more concerned with, like, how much, how many pounds can I lose? But like you mentioned, you didn't get this pro well, I'm gonna say problem. This situation and within 30 days, so don't expect to get yourself realistically out of the situation within 30 days. So it's an ongoing process that you're gonna have to just be committed to and just gonna have to do it in order to get there. Once you get there, then you just have to maintain it, right? Exactly. You see, it it shouldn't be like I have to. You know, like, yeah, I got to do this. Absolutely not. See, the thing is, you don't, when you get up in the morning, you're like, oh, man, I got to brush my teeth like Jan this morning. I got to take another bath. No, so those things are subconscious. You just do those automatically. You're not dreading about taking showers. You're not dreading about getting some sleep, you know, at night time. You're not doing it. That's, so the thing is, the same thing about our health and fitness, what I do with my clients, I replace those habits. I replace those thoughts in your mind. Now you get to. Now this is a must. This is a habit. I got to get it done. If not, I'm not going to be normal tomorrow. Tomorrow, if I don't do these push-ups, I'll do them. I'm just not going to be normal. I'm not going to feel right in my body from a physiological standpoint. Wow. So, for example, if you don't need any type of gym equipment to get gain muscle, you just no, use the say, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say you don't need any type of gym equipment to gain muscle, but the thing is, you can gain muscle with your body, but it all depends on what you're trying to do. You know, and okay. I, I mean, you have some folks out there that used to be skinny like me. You know, skinny. Used to wear two shirts and two different pants just to feel a little bigger, you know. And, you know, I, I hated my size. I, I'm telling you, Tim, I used to do it all. I hated my size. I couldn't stand it. And guess what? I wanted some muscle, but I would get muscle, but I didn't have a size. So what I had to do, I had to go, you know, first what I did is I got my core together, right? And that's just using my body, just using different isometric exercises, you know, military exercises to get my body from a core perspective so I'd be ready for the weight. And now, guess what? When I started implementing weight, until my fitness lifestyle, the results was unbelievable. See, it takes some guys, you know, they're skinny, they're small, they try to dump into the gym, try to get on those weights, they can't lift this, they're hurting their stuff, hurting their arm, because they think their core is not prepared for the weight. And that's why they get confused. That's why, you know, I have a lot of small guys that's, you know, small down that reach out to me, even from my email, from my YouTube, and they say, you know, Wesley, you know what I need to do? I to get your core strong. And don't just go in there trying to lift. 200, 200 pounds and trying to curl 50 pounds in one arm, your form looking crazy, like like you're about to do a backflip. I, I don't know. But the thing is, it's important to get your core strong. And the thing is for, you know, folks that are a little bit overweight, you know, that they want to gain muscle, they want to lose weight. I, the program is designed for you too, because the first thing you want to do is you want to cut down some of that weight. And I understand just because you don't lose weight from week one, or you don't lose weight from week two, that doesn't mean you're not making progress. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen for you. You gotta understand because when you work out, muscle is heavier than fat. So guess what? If you gain a couple of pounds, that means it's negative growth. 
That don't mean it's a pessimistic process. Absolutely not. You just need to be, you, it is your job. It is your responsibility to stay consistent. Just stay consistent because you stay consistent eating the McDonald's. You stay consistent eating Burger King. You've been consistent in Pizza Hut and all of other, you know, terrible foods in your lifestyle. You've been consistent, right? And that's why you've created that result. So it's time for you to break that pattern. It's now time for you to choose something new that's going to work for you, that's going to be productive, that's going to give you more confidence, that's going to give you more happiness. That's when you're going to find that's going to be congruent through every aspect of your life. Wow. So, and taking that into account, now, I would say, I'm not going to say the majority. Well, I can't say the majority. That Probably 60% of the nation is slightly overweight and a portion is obese. Now, like I was mentioning, I think in the last episode, you have someone who's 300 and something pounds. 300, yeah, it's pretty big, but the bigger you get, the less nose you're going to see right away. And it, it takes longer to get that off for you to see any noticeable difference. A long, yeah, so even if you do the workout, which for someone in the 300s, it's going to be really stressful on their body. What do you tell that person who's 350, who's you know, 6'1"? It's going to be a long process. And they had to do a combination of diet and exercise in order to get through this process. So what do you say to a person? They have a good why. They know it's health reasons. And food is an addiction like cigarettes, smokes, and everything else. That now, you know, you break this addictive behavior and they have this great want. How can you tell the 350-pound guy who's 6'1", hey, you're going to be doing this in, you know, a whole month. You're not going to see much of a difference. Internally, there is a difference going on within his body, and he's slowly shedding some pounds. But what do you say to the guy that's that size to kind of get him motivated and say, hey, this is going to take a minute? Well, Tim, I mean, I believe that we are in front of the individuals. And I'm saying mm-hmm. it because the thing is, the same weight that you put on, guess what? it didn't happen in 30 days. It didn't happen in 60 days. It didn't happen in six months. It was years. Mm-hmm. Years of you or that person or whoever it might be, that were consistent. It was consistent, but unfortunately, it was being consistent of doing things that were counterproductive to their body. And so the thing is, the person needs to understand that. See, that's why, because you understand, you know, we always want the quick fix and we want the quick band aid and just put it on and then just keep going, but it doesn't work like that. You understand? It's no way to circumvent the process and, you know, tell someone that, oh, yeah, you're going to lose 80 pounds in 30 days. Absolutely not. So the person, first thing, what I do is I, I allow them to understand that, guess what? Five years ago, you were a small guy, enough to say you're not. Now, I'm not saying it's going to take you five years. It might take you a year. It might take you two years. But you don't think. And see, I think every people, they know that. But I just, you know, I reiterate them and say, hey, I'm going to let them know. Don't believe it all. Don't feel like you're going to lose all this weight in 30 days. And guess what? I believe you're always making progress. Progress is just a perception. It's all perception because the thing is, if you're working out, despite you losing weight or nothing, but guess what? You're doing something that's productive to your body. You know that 100%. And when you're not working out, you're doing something that's not productive to the body. So, see, the thing is, you understand what you're doing and what you're not doing. As far as looking at the results, now, I, I, I said, like, don't oh, focus always on the results. And, oh, man, well, I've worked out for 60 days and I still don't look like this. Stop worrying about this. What you think about your lifestyle? Think about your why. Think about the reason why you don't understand that you're doing something that is productive to your body. You're doing something that's going to help you out 10 and 20 years because see, the last five years, you have failed. You have failed yourself. You have failed your body. The last thing you do now, you look at yourself in the mirror and you're not happy with the sight. You know, you feel a bit maybe embarrassed or subconscious about how you look. So the thing is, you have to have faith. The same faith or the same thoughts that you had when you started to gain the weight and when you came one side, it's the same thing you need to have and understand that if you keep doing things that are, that are productive to your fitness lifestyle, then you're going to get the same results. But these are going to be results that are going to be productive. These are results that you're going to like. So I just allow a person to say, hey, do you understand your why, right? And most of them already understand the process. You know, and, you, know you know, to be honest, a lot of folks, man, they're very realistic. I had this lady who says, I said, you know, how long do you want to, what is the time frame? What is the ETA that you're looking at to lose this weight? She said, hey, a year. You know, she's 300 pounds. This is the oh, wow. thing is, most people, they don't have, you know, they don't have these expectations that they're just going to just drop this weight. That'd be, drop me. If you drop and weight 80 pounds in 30 days, that's unhealthy. What are you doing? You know, are you getting sliced up in the doctor's office? You know, Pat, I don't know. But the thing is, most of my clients, they have real expectations. 
because they're intelligent folks. But they understand the same process it took to get this weight on is the same process or a different, a new process to take the weight off. So usually, I don't, okay. even, I don't even run into their problem. Not, not too much. One well, is going to play a short clip. I think he says awesome thighs and hamstrings real quick. Another one will be able to see it, but they can be able to hear it. Then we kind of go ballpark. Hey, what are the steps they need to do to get fit? And then we will probably, yeah, we'll go from that point. So I'm going to play this clip real quick. Then we're going to what step, what they need to do to get fit, and how long did it take to get where you are in your process from the little skinny guy on the one end and to get physically fit like you are right now. So give me one second. We're going to go ahead and play this short clip, and we'll be right back. back. That's your video. That's not on YouTube, but it's on your website, right? A website and also no, actually, uh, and oh, it's, it's on YouTube. It's on YouTube also. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And get, just to kind of recap on the steps that it takes to get fit, can I just run through a few things that we yeah. need to do in order to get fit? Right. Oh, you want to run through some things? Yeah. I mean, basically, you know, like I explained before, the first thing is uh, it's the why. You got to have a condition. Okay. This, you know, this doesn't go in there and, you know, and I'm not saying you have to use my program, but any program that's utilized, they have to be a firm decision to use the people make the decision is when they have a catastrophe to have it in their lives. You know, whether they have a heart attack, a stroke, or, you know, high blood pressure or diabetes, you know, why wait for that? You know, why wait until the sickness hits you? So, you know, the first thing is you have to have a why. You just have to have a why. That's mm-hmm. extremely important. That's a, it's a mental process. And, you know, that's what I said this game is 90% mental, 10% physical. You know, I'm not creating new exercises, creating, oh, guess what? This exercise is going to get done in two days. These are the same exercises. It's nothing. Once you have, once you made the commitment, it doesn't matter. Whatever it takes, you're going to get it done, 100%. And what I do is I'm just a tool. And I just, I create something that's simple, that's private, that's convenient, and that's easy that you can do every single day. Small steps. Just take small steps because a lot of folks don't work. You don't want to work out 30 and 45 an hour, you know, in the gym. But you don't want to do mm-hmm. that. If you're tired, it'll feel like it's a nice source. So what I do is I can deal with small baby steps. Oh, my gosh, I'm at West. I just want to take baby steps right now, you know. I understand it's going to be a little pain. I understand it's going to be a stroke, but I just want to take baby steps. You know, my back, I have bad, I have a bad back, I have bad legs, I have bad this. And I say, okay. And what I do is I give them small things to do. And who can do that? I mean, you can dip and brush your teeth for two minutes. Why can't you get up? and do some dumping this for two minutes every day. Just get up and do it, and you're done. And before you know it, it'll be just a part of your existence. It should be something that you're going to do. So the first nope. thing is, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I mean, that, so that why is important, Jim. No, that why it starts with the why. Starts with okay. The why. So what type of foods they should be eating? Well, they should be avoiding while they're working on your on your program. Well, at least the McDonald's the score is number one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All fast food, anything that has a drive food, stay away from them. And don't go through any drive food. Don't go through any drive Anything with a drive food, just stay away from it. And the thing is, you want to ensure that, you know, you know, you know, you have vegetables, you know, no, nothing fried, nothing greased up. You know, we want to keep steak grilled. You know, and the thing is, you know, folks, they, they not tell me, my, they know what to eat. They know what to eat. They know what they should be eating. They know what to eat. The thing is, this is my fluffy. If you have to ask a question of is it good for me, it's probably not. It's probably not good for you. Just don't even eat it. Don't even eat it. So the thing is, you know, you want to put fish in your know, you know, some grilled, some salmon, and some, some tilapia, you know, all types of vegetables, fruits. Like me, I have a like right now, this week is actually fruit week. So my clients, they're required to put fruit in their, in their lifestyle eating plan this week. You know, you have to eat fruit in morning, afternoon, evening. You must eat some fruit today. Some fruit. I'm going to the apple, the orange, the mango, the pear, some grapes, but you have to implement some food in your lifestyle life eating plan this week. Okay. And how, you mentioned a boot camp at the very top of the show. You having a kickoff on the boot camp or can I talk about, talk about that? Oh, okay. So right now I have two South Virginia with passing boot camp 2012 in Houston, Texas. And right now, we out there in Memorial Park right now. If you're in Houston, if you're close to Memorial Park, if, if you work in the Galleria area, I, I feel free to come on and join. I'm doing special right now for only $49.99. You're going to get a month of training. You're going to get a month of arms, a month of legs, a month of thighs, cardio. You know, we're going to work you. I'm going to ensure that during that month of training that you don't lose weight within the two digits with my with, uh, 
concepts and some of the, the skills and techniques that I'm utilizing. But yes, this whole year from Monday to Thursday at 6.30 p.m., it is live at 6.30 p.m. at Memorial Park. And what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be traveling to other cities and other states here in a couple of months, and we're going to be spreading this boot camp like a virus around, you know, America itself. So I'm going to be pretty busy. But, yeah, if you want to see some Texas areas, you better get hooked up right now. We're doing a deal with Living Social. It's going to happen in about 30 days. You're going to get an unbelievable deal with that. But, hey, if you're committed, summertime is coming. If you're ready to be sexy for those beaches, if you're ready to go to Florida, you need to go travel. You need to you gotta do it now. Body is right and body is tight. Do it now. <laughs> now, question, how, long, how long did it really take? You know, I think you're on the opposite end of most people. You were a thin, a thin person and you were trying to build into who you are. How long did it take you to get to the, the process of being a real small person and get where you are today? It probably took me about maybe six, seven years. I've been working wow. for a while, but it probably took me six years to actually just start actually. Everybody's body is different. And the thing is, you know, I was definitely, I was growing, I was getting muscles, but the thing is, I just wasn't happy. I mean, I wanted more. I was more, I got to the point, I was just addicted. And what happened is, it just, it's called exponential growth. And that's what happened when you work out. And, you know, you, when you start to create the habit, and it just happens automatically. And it's almost like you can't stop. And that's what happens. And you don't get to the point that you can be addicted to it. It's going to be like a drug. Because you want the look. The cocaine. Huh? Because you're going to want the look. Yeah, you don't want the look. But you're not just you want the look. It's just like what happens is, especially when you're losing weight or when you're gaining muscle, other folks start to recognize that, right? They say, man, you're losing weight there. And what does that do to you? You say, oh, wow, really? Dang. That's going to motivate you to keep going in the direction. That's what happens. And so what happens to me is I start getting a lot of compliments. They got, man, wow. I need to stop. Don't go anymore. You see what that do? That's just fueling my fire. I mean, man, I'm doing something right. That's going to motivate me to keep going. Because the thing is, we're in the world that we see validation. I don't care what you say. We see validation from other folks. So we're in the world where we deal with people. And we guess where people compliment us. When people see us and they say, hey, you know, you're doing a good job or you're losing weight or you're gaining weight again. It makes us feel good internally, which causes us to be motivated to do more. Because when we work out, we're thinking about the company. When we're working out, we're probably thinking about that chick that we want to talk to at our office. Uh, we, you know, when we're working out, you know, the lady, they're thinking about that guy that they want to approach or they want to put on that nice black dress so they can be sexy or they can, you know, they can, you know, so that, that person will approach them. So this all, this is all, it's an entire process of, okay. it goes all back to the why. Okay. And so when we go to the why, I guess you had to do it in stages. Like, for example, you say you worked on your inner core first. So I'm going to assume that was the torso area, you worked on that and got that in shape first and then you worked your way down or you just kind of say, hey, I would do chest today, legs tomorrow, Wednesday, I would do arms. Did you do it in pieces that way or you actually just focus on your core first? Well, I mean, this is what I've been doing for the last, for the last so many, maybe four or five years. Monday, it's my chest and my trident. Tuesday, my back and bias. Wednesdays, my shoulder. And Thursdays, my leg. And usually on Fridays, I take a break. You know, you know, Saturdays, what I do is I work every single body part on Saturdays, and I only do two sets of each exercise. That's all I do. I, I mean, I do two different exercises, and I only do two sets. And Sunday, I'm off again. I start the process back on Monday again. Okay. Right. Now, going to shifting real quick, now going towards the business itself. I think we talked about you starting this particular business. I'm not sure you, you work portion at a gym or portion at home, or how do you actually run your business? So, so basically, right now we're home office. Right okay. now we have the website, which is about seventydayfitness.com. I have trainers there. Uh, I have mm-hmm. nutritionists there, but uh, right now we have we're about to open up the module, which is going to be the repetitive seven day program. That's going to give you know folks access to the thirty day intense boot camp. They're going to fill out an assessment. They need to explain their why. They need to know your fitness story. So it's a process. And you're going to have access to the yoga expert if you need relaxation after those, after those exercises. Um, you're going to have access to what to eat. You're going to have access. I even have a rededication program for folks that fall off in 20 or 19 days. You know, we have a rededication program that's been implemented. Because the thing is, I understand the process. And I know certain people that's just not going to be consistent. They're going to procrastinate. They're not going to get it done. See, the thing is, I am relentless. I am unstoppable. As long as you work with me, I am going to work with you. 
I'm going to keep it in your face of why you have to do this. I don't stop. I never stop. Ever. The thing is, as long as I have a client that's working with me, I am going to work with he or she for the end of time because it is my business. It's my responsibility to ensure that you get the results that you have. And I understand that it's from some folks it's not an easy process. And usually the, 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 when the why is not strong, it's a hard process because I'm telling you when the why, when the why is strong, the process is easy. Man, it's just some, because see, the thing is that negative or is that, it's that pain of being someone that you don't want to be that drives you to be someone that you want to become. So that's, that's how it happens on the site right now. But at WesleyBurton.com, right now we're doing a countdown where you can put your email address because I'm only going to give out a hundred spots at $70 for the entire your know, life. So now, you know, right now uh, we charge $200 per year, but now I'm going to give you an entire program for $70 for the rest of your life. That's it. $7 to try for the first 21 days and $70 you're going to have it for a lifetime. And that's it. No gym memberships, no month to month, you know, you don't use and things like that. Absolutely not. This one time fee of 77 bucks, you're going to get access to the total to me, to my booty and thigh expert, to the, um, to the boot camp, to your daily videos. So you're going to be completely inundated in information or tools to help you get the body that you want to create. And that's how much again? Seventy bucks. Total seventy seven dollars. Lifetime. 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 You'll never <laughs> see it anywhere. Tell me. Tell me. You'll never see this again. Well, how do you market yourself? Well, I'm pretty much YouTube famous right now. I get about ten thousand views right now and they actually step me into the partnership program. So I'm a partner now with you. I'm actually I do a lot of social networking from Facebook, from MySpace, from Facebook, MySpace, Google, things of that sort. So we do a lot of online marketing right now. The only online marketing that we're doing is just from the boot camp standpoint. Uh, we do mm-hmm. things such as the fly, but I do a lot of word of mouth. Right now, this has not hit mass exposed right now. I'm telling you, this has not hit mass exposed until, but I'm telling you, in the next three to five years, virtual training is going to be where it's at. Yeah, Everyone out there is going to the have future. a virtual training. You're going to find out how people, how folks, they're not going to prefer to go to the gym. They're not going to prefer to go hire the expensive trainer at the gym. They're going to prefer to stay at home. They're going to have their trainer. They're going to have their nutritionist. They're going to have their workout. It's going to be quick and it's going to be effective. That's what's happening in the future. And I'm free. Great. The last couple of questions real quick before we kind of get you to make some last comments. On your video and your graphics, when you went out to go do those, how did you find a company to, because you have some nice graphics and the video that you do from your home, do you, is this a regular video cam or you had someone to go back and edit it? How did you do that? You know, it's funny you bring that. Somebody asked me that same question the other day, Tim. But basically, uh, initially, I bought myself a camera from Best Buy and I hooked it up and on a tripod and I turned it on and I started recording videos. Then I decided to go wow. hire someone. I said, you know what? I don't know how to edit videos. So I hired someone, but I was saying, you know what? I'm paying these people too much. And guess what? The job that they're doing, I think I could do a little bit better. So you know what I did? I bought myself a Macintosh computer. I put my Macintosh computer on my tripod now. I just sit it there. I the balance and I wanted to fall. I record the video, and I got this awesome program by the name I Move, and I do all my videos now. I record, I edit, and I publish. I create the graph. I do it all now. On the iMovie? myself. Yeah, on my on Macintosh. No, Macintosh computer. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So you put your, your Mac on top of a tripod and record? Just record. I mean, that Macintosh has... Oh, uh, awesome image pixel ratio. Videos look nice. You can actually um, output the video in um, an AC format. So, absolutely. Wow. No, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> and, but your graphics, you had somebody professionally make your graphics. And your uh, I had somebody professionally actually make the intro for me. Like the intro that you see that comes over the seven like the, the guy running in the ending. I someone to create that. Some of the graphics that you saw on the website, I, have, I outsource a lot of my. Uh, uh, I'm supposed to a lot of those graphic designs, my web designer out of like India. Uh, you can actually go to oldesk.com. Any business owner out there that's trying, they don't have a lot of money, that's looking to get some quality work done, go to oldesk.com. You can hire people all over the world. Uh, they're smart, very smart, they're very, very assiduous workers. And in my opinion, you're going to get quality of work and you're not going to pay a lot of money to get this quality of work. So uh, that's why I typically do. I also a lot of things that I get done with the website here currently. Wow. That's really awesome. So again, that's Odesk. If anybody want to look at that, odesk.com. You can hire people to do your, your graphic works for you. 
anything you want to leave us with since we have a few minutes left regarding your company and things you would like to see in the future. I know you mentioned the whole me in five years, everybody be doing virtual type training because it's you know it's, you know a lot of people are guilty. Yeah, they go ahead and get a membership and they don't counsel and they sit there and sit there, which I think they count on, but they just get intimidated. What do you like to close with about you and your company and what you're looking to do in the future as a business? Well, the thing is, you know, like I said, my, my company was born three to four years ago and I was training folks. And the thing is, they just wasn't getting long-term results. You know, they get some results and two and three months down the line, they are back, you know, doing what they used to do and getting the results they didn't want to get. And I'm saying, you see a lot of my business, I'm real passionate. I have a lot of energy because I really love what I do. You know, and, and I'm not doing this. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not doing this for the money. I'm not. I'm not doing this for the whole thing. And I want. I am doing it genuinely to actually help people. I want to help folks create the dreams that they want. And see, the thing is, it's 85 percent of people out there when they go to the gym and they look at what people are doing. They look at you know this guy he's working out here. He's working out this on exercise piece of equipment. They see the girl, they see the trash, they kind of get intimidated, embarrassed, and you know what, I just can't do it. So those folks, it's a lot of those type of folks, they're real depressed, they're upset, and they say, you know, what's the solution? So it was my responsibility. And I can just, you know, it's a God-given chat. God, you know, gave me this chat and said, you know what, create something for those folks, for those type of people. You know, that's been back and forth from the DVDs, from the CDs that has not found something that is beneficial to their lifestyle. So I said, you know what I can do? Let me create something that is simple, that is private, that is easy, that's something that they can do. And guess what? Now they have. I'm going to bring the gym. Basically, I'm bringing the gym experience to your home. I'm bringing it to you. You no longer have to drive anywhere, get the kids ready, put them in the daycare. And then what you do is you get to the gym and you work with certain folks or working with your trainer and the trainer's not doing anything. He's just telling you what to do. And, you know, you're looking at other folks and getting upset. There's no more of that. No more of that. Now, understand, these 15% of people like myself that, you know, I love going to the gym. This is what I do. Hey, that's cool. But I am, I'm serving the people out there that, guess what? Where's my, I don't want to go to the gym. Where's my, I, I don't feel like doing this. I don't want to do it this way. I don't want to have to get up out of my bed and go put on my shoes and my gym equipment or whatever and go do this. I want something, I want someone to come to me, you know, whether it comes through a virtual experience or whatever, but I want you to provide me all these tools and knowledge and tools and information online so I can get that I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. And a lot of my clients, they love it. I have so many testimonies of so many women and, and gentlemen right now that, that love what I am doing. And they say, thank you. We're finally something that's easy. But it's upset that I felt the burn. And guess what? Now, I don't have, I have a busy lifestyle. But I don't have time to go to the gym every single day. I, it's just not in my schedule. And now I understand that you got mothers at home that have children. You have people that work hard at that work till 1 and 4 o'clock in the morning. You have people that travel on planes all day. You have busy students that are trying to get that degree. In, and they don't have time to put this a part of their lifestyle from a gym perspective. But now I'm bringing it to you from a virtual experience. And not just that, you're going to get results. As long as you keep doing the program, because it's easy, it's convenient, and it's private, you're going to get the results that you're looking for. So I challenge you folks to get hooked up with the repetitive seven-day program. Great. So the, how to contact you again? You go to your Facebook? or oh, you go right to now, just go to WesleyBurgess.com. If you want one of the packages, if you want to be one of the one first 100 folks that get the um, that's going to get the entire program for seventy dollars. You need to go register now. I, I don't have the minute. I think I have about about fifty left. I have a lot of people that I just kind of opened it up. I have a lot of people that going to the website and they're putting the information because I'm only going to give them access for seventy dollars for the lifetime. And now that's going to go back up to like one hundred forty-seven dollars per year. So I just kind of uh, I tell you folks now, you better go to WesleyVersion.com, try something that is new. Try something you've never tried before. You may be skeptical. You may be like, I, I don't know. But guess what? Try out for $7 for the first 21 days. If you don't like it, I give you the 60-day money-back guarantee. I won't be mad. I won't be sad. I won't be upset. It's going to work like that, Tim. Great. No problem. It's Wesley Virgin, W-E-S-L-E-Y-V-I-R-G-I-N.com? Yes. Yes, sir. 
perfect. If not, you can seek him out on Facebook or type in seven day fitness dot com. And is that seven spelled out or is it the number seven? Both okay. ways. Okay, perfect. Well, you got both areas yep. covered. Well, yes, Wesley, sir. thank you for coming on the program again. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you have any questions of Wesley, go ahead and look for him on Facebook at Wesley Virgin or do go to the website, 7 Day Fitness, spelled both ways, the, the number seven, and spelled out seven. Thank you, Wesley, for coming on the program again. Hey, thanks for like you. Okay, great. Thank you. I appreciate it. If anybody has any questions or want to download this episode, you can get this episode on iTunes or on Block Talk Radio Network on the Apple Capital Group website. Thank you for listening, and everybody have a great day. Take care. Thank you for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet. For a free quote on equipment leasing and financing, visit our website, applecapitalgroup.com. That's applecapitalgroup.com. And fill out the information to receive your free quote. We hope you'll join us for our next episode. And remember, you can always get to The Core via iTunes. You'll find all our previous episodes there. Thanks again for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet.